My name is Tommy Green, and I sing in a hardcore band called Sleeping Giant. I think pain brings definition. It's been easier in my life to find definition, more so in pain, in sadness, in heaviness. I think it's easy to access that power and to feel like empowered by struggle. In my own life, in my family, people I know that have struggled with either suicide, suicidal thoughts, depression, self-harm. Not only is there identity in it, I think it's people giving their pain a voice and I think it's easy to identify in pain. And so I think they go, this is my pain. And if no one's gonna listen, I'll become it just so someone will see. When we're free from shame, which is like guilt, if guilt is I feel bad for what I've done and shame is like I hate who I am, when people feel free from shame, they can be themselves. So I, I think it's absolutely rooted in identity. I think, I think most, most every single thing, behavior that people are exhibiting, flows from that place. It's Salt Lake City hardcore, like this, this straight edge scene here, being a young kid here, I feel like there's parts where like, it ruined my life. And I'm, but I'm, I'm, I'm proud to have experienced some of the things I've experienced here and seen it. And so I think my identity as a hardcore kid here was rooted so much in rejection, in a deep sense of anger and loss and having no voice, having like having nowhere to put how deeply angry I was about being abused, about being molested, about being left, about being rejected. And so taking all of that and giving it a voice was so powerful for me because it really felt like it was us in this little place against the whole rest of the world. It literally became not only a place for me to finally express how I felt, but it was the only place I felt like I could be as angry as I really was. D genuinely loving people a lot, but like so deeply pissed off that I had nowhere else to put it. I've heard two really good things from older people and they said, when you get to the end, let's say you get to the end of your life and you stand before the creator. One guy was like, you're gonna get there and you're gonna look at God and he's gonna look at you and he's gonna say, did you learn how to love? And I'm like, that's powerful. Like that's really powerful to me. I'm like, dude, I don't know. I don't know if I did really selflessly. I try really hard to love people, but, and it gets me every time, but. The other dude is my favorite and he's broken and he was a failure <laughs> as a Christian and he was not. And he said, I think when we get to the end of our life, we're gonna stand before God. He's gonna go, did you believe that I loved you? And that's been the hardest part for me is going like, I don't wanna do a thing for you because I thought you were God, man. I don't, I don't wanna have to earn it, man. I've been earning it my whole life. But I feel like it's getting easier for me to receive the fact that I'm loved. That's my identity. From that, I just wanna love people, man. And that means telling people the truth and it means defending people and it, and it means fighting for what you love. And I don't, I don't know what it all means, but like, do I really believe that I'm loved? And every other thing in my identity has got a bow to that because everything else is about me trying to like earn it or perform or I'm just saying, I think our pain has a purpose for sure. And I think our pain needs a voice. And I think I can honestly say, these are the wounds that have marked my life I am not my wounds. My wounds have taught me some things and now I'm just gonna radically pursue love and I'm gonna radically pursue being loved and, and that's who I am. Because everything else, man, it's, it's just not as fun. For people that are struggling with self-harm or shame or guilt or anything, it's like our identity is that I, I am loved. The things that we fight for, those are wonderful. But I think who we really are has to come from that. Like, I believe that I'm loved now despite all the evidence <laughs> in my history and all that stuff. It's like, I believe that I'm loved. I'm Tommy Green, and you're watching Heart Support. Yeah!